Simon Tenate is the seventh person to have contracted COVID-19 in Ghana. He works with a diplomatic mission and left Ghana for Paris, France on February 29. He tells me he took all precautionary measures to protect himself from the virus and does not know exactly how he contracted it. When I was leaving the country, I went with a plane. I got to the airport in Paris. There were human beings over there. We were all crowded and we went through the same system. There was no testing, okay? And from that place, I went straight to my hotel room. Someone picked me who has not covered the mouth. And you know, the viral infection, you can have it and it will take a couple of days or just before you get. At the hotel, we used the same lift. I had colleagues that were also part of the training and we were interacting as I mean, friends or colleagues at the training. All these things are, let me say, possible contact that I came into. I had a mild cough. Um, I felt some pain around my throat. I felt a little bit weak, some mild headache. When Simon returned to Ghana, he decided to voluntarily go for testing at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. It was there that I got to know that I have tested positive. I was panicking because I, not for myself too much, but for the rest of the family, I felt like I have put my family, my immediate family into danger. Immediately I asked my family to move into mandatory quarantine in the room. My wife was at the hospital with my newborn baby. I'm thinking of her because she was also having some few medical issues. Got to a point, my wife has to put pressure on me to tell her that I'm positive because I felt that telling her immediately would have created a crisis for me and the family. Days spent in isolation at the hospital were the most difficult for him. He lost his colleague also battling COVID-19. At the point, I couldn't breathe at all. I couldn't, and I have to call the nurses and then they have to take me through a process. At the point, they even wanted to put oxygen on me. But luckily, I was able to recover quickly from the situation and I came back to my normal. It happened almost about two times at the hospital. Can you imagine trying to breathe and then you are not getting oxygen? And your pulse is very high. My dear, it's not a good thing. <laughs> at that point, I started praying to God. And uh, saying that, God, please help me out of this situation. I know you are the only one who can do so. And don't, don't put me into shape. That, so my strength at that point was in the Lord. He spoke about his road to recovery. Initially, I was only taking um, vitamins. Subsequently, when they detected that I have issue with my blood pressure, I was put on some drugs. The Ministry of Health came out with an approved drug to whether to treat it or to suppress the effect, and that is chloroquine and azithromycin. So I was on azithromycin and then chloroquine. The thing is about your immune system. So they are doing everything possible to make sure that your immune system is very strong so that the virus will not be able to overcome you. I take a lot of water at the place and they encourage us to do so. I asked him what was the key to surviving coronavirus. Psychologically, when you lose hope, there is a possibility that you will give up. But if your spirit is very strong and you tell yourself, I can make it, that alone is 50% of recovery. Simon was full of praise for all the health workers who took care of him and hopes his experience will inspire others. Someone like me, I had the best of treatment when I was there. And I believe my colleagues will get the same from them. And God in his special way will reward them and their family for whatever they are doing for us. Simon had a message for Ghanaians. This is that. I'm told people went to the beach to enjoy themselves. The question is, does it make sense? No. Because if you are disciplined, the best thing you can do is to stay inside your house. Poshigabo, TVC News, Accra.